Hello, I am Arun from Supportust. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today I am going to discuss about how to install Debian 11 Minimal on a server box. As you guys already know, Debian 11 is the current latest stable version of Debian Linux operating systems which is released on August 2021. Debian 11 becomes the first release to provide a Linux kernel with support for the exfat file system and defaults to using it for mount exfat file systems. In this video, we use Debian 11 ISO image for the installation on our server box. Since it's a, it's a server, we install Debian with minimal packages, which means we don't have a graphical interface available after the install, only the command line, which is available in the server box. Later, we manage the server through SSH over the terminal. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when we post new videos. Alright, let's get started. The first thing we need is mount the ISO to the server BIOS and change the BIOS boot order to look for mounted ISO file first. This setup depends on the BIOS of your own server itself. So do this step first. We will able to download the Debian 11 ISO file from the official website link https colon slash slash cdimage.debian.org slash debian iphone cd slash current slash amd64 slash ISO iPhone CD. At this moment, the ISO image file name for 64 bit is Debian iPhone 11.3.0 iPhone AMD 64 iPhone net inst.iso. After the ISO mount and once the system boot up with bootable medium, we will be able to see like that shown in the screen itself. From that, Choose graphical install option and hit enter. Wait until the next screen appears. In the next screen, choose our preferred language. In this case, I am selecting English and click on continue. In the next screen, choose our preferred location which will be used to set time zone for your systems and click on continue. In the next screen, choose the keyboard layout and then click on continue to proceed. Wait until the next screen appears. In the next screen, installer will prompt us to set a server host name. So specify the host name that we want to configure and then click on continue. In the next screen, specify the password of root user and hit continue to proceed further. So here I am entering my preferred root password and later click the continue button. In the next screen, specify the full name of your local user and hit continue to proceed further. In the next screen, specify the login username and click continue. Then in the following screen, Specify the password of that local user we are going to create and click continue. In the next screen, choose the preferred time zone and click continue. Wait until the next screen appears. In the next screen, installer will prompt to choose partitioning method. So in this case, we are selecting guided that is use entire disk. It will create partition automatically on entire disk and click continue. In the following screen, choose the disk on which partitions will be created for Debian 11 and click continue. In the next following screen, we must choose partition scheme based off disk size and requirement. Choose partition scheme accordingly. In this case, 
we are selecting all files in one partition option and click continue in the next screen we will get the partitions overview and mount points that we are going to create verify it and choose finish partitioning and write changes to disk option to write changes to the disk and continue in the next screen confirm the changes by choosing yes option and click continue the install base system screen will appear wait until it completes after couple of minutes it will prompt to scan installation media choose no option and the click on continue to proceed with installation in the next screen we choose the package manager manager archive mirror country so choose the desired country and click continue in the next screen we choose the package manager archive mirror and the default one will be dub.debian.org is a good choice then click on continue in the following screen click on continue if your system is not using any proxy server in case you are using it then specify the details and then proceed further so in this case we just click on continue because we are not using any proxy service and wait until the configure apt and install packages completes in the following screen you will be asked to participate in package survey choose option no or if you wish you can also choose the yes option and then click on continue and wait until the next screen appears in the next screen we choose the software that we want to install like desktop environment and service etc so make the selection which suits to your installation in our case we only select ssh server and standard system utilities softwares because our install is a debian server install and we don't need any graphical interface and then click continue the install software screen will appear with progress bar wait until it got completed in the next screen choose yes to install grub bootloader on primary hard drive after that click continue in the next window choose the disk on which grub loader will installed choose continue and hit enter to finish the installation the finished installed screen will appear with the progress bar and wait until it got completed once the installation is completed then installer will prompt to reboot the system once click on continue to restart the system and don't forget to change boot medium from installation media to hard disk while rebooting the server so let's make the changes as per the server bios you have and boot the server from hard disk itself on a successfully booted server we will see screen like that shows up right now give the login user as root in the shell and hit enter enter the root password and hit enter again now we have access to the server over terminal as root user now let's see how we can configure ip address that is a public ip address for our debian server so that we can access the server over ssh terminal for that first issue the command ip space a and find out the network interface name so let's issue this command in the terminal and we can see in our case the network interface name is ens3 so now issue the command sudo space vim.tiny space slash etc slash network slash interfaces so let's issue this command in the terminal and add below lines in it that is auto space ens3 efface space ens3 space init space static in the next line address space give our public ip address in the next line net mask space specify our ip network mask then in the next line 
define gateway space and give our own gateway IP. Then in the next line DNS iPhone name service and specify our DNS service. In our case we are using Google public DNS service. After that save the file and exit. Now restart the network service by issuing the command systemctl restart networking. So let's issue this command in the terminal. Now open the ssh config file by issuing the command wim.tiny slash etc slash ssh slash sshd underscore config. So let's issue this command in the terminal. In the file find out the permit root login directive and set the value to yes. Save the changes and exit the file editing. After that restart the ssh service by issuing the command systemctl restart sshd. So let's issue this command in the terminal. Ok this completes the basic install and configuration setup for the Debian minimal server install. Now you can access the server over ssh terminal as root user from your local PC or laptop and set up anything you needed in your server that is if you wish to use your server Debian server as a web server you can install HTTP or Nginx as per the requirement. Ok this concludes how to install the Debian 11 minimal on a server. I hope this video is informative. Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video and also leave your thoughts at the comment box. See you soon on next video.